of the regular season. Top two, no score. Michael Massey, the second baseman, looks at a strike. Friday night's game. Bounces one foul and is 0 and 2. And he got him. Fastball on the inside corner, one down. The inside part of the play with the two seamer to left handers. He's really done a great job on this year. And that seemed to happen a lot at key spots, a little into Kansas City at the beginning of the season, but he's been very, very consistent since then. Yeah, I, I think that's, you know, the Blue Jays' rotation is full of guys like that when you think about it. When there's, but I'm putting up some zeros now. I'm staying in this game. This is a good breaking ball. Wouldn't chase it that time. Dear than they've ever had in franchise history. 106 is the most they've ever lost. It's just been a, a tough season. They've had to shuttle a lot of players in and out and just try to wait players. Tricky stop by Guerrero and a nifty feed. You described that last hop's got top spin on it. He was giving ground, but he stayed with The double in yesterday's game. Switch hitter batting left-handed against Barrios. He'll take it outside, ball one. And he gets the call on the breaking ball at the fastball by him, one and two. And a bouncer to second. Schneider has it on the first into the dugout and leading off the bottom of the second. Up the middle off one, homer to right, also off a slider. I talked it before he got to the home run swing. I wonder if that's as good a sign as any. More than series MVP, say he still has to fight against pressing. Lots of good signs for George Hindham hitting in the two spot. And now here's Davis Schneider, who just got his first look at that changeup. In front of that off-speed pitch, and he tries it again, Reagan's does, back-to-back changeups. Talk to Dave Hudgens about Davis Schneider and to show him something as he takes high ball four. Davis Schneider puts the leaks hitting well and saying, hey, I got this. He's putting the work in and, and still learning on a daily basis. At the belt, 0-1. As Kirk grounds one down to third, and the Royals will turn a double play. Each other for the last time this year. Yeah, with spending the first uh, six or so seasons of it the year after they won the World Series. Yeah, and you think he was with Kansas City, so he's got post. I mean, he was packed and ready to go to the big leagues, and then they changed their mind and took. And outside, ball four. So the second walk given up. In the now you can see what he's done in eight starts with the Royals, a 11.9. Now Santiago Espinal getting the start at third base today, hitting 239. And Lofton looks like he has a play, and he does. It's funny, it shows you how things can change. Like two months ago, playoffs, it was all about, you know, the last 15 or against the Red Sox, the Yankees. Been down season for sure. Like he mentioned, they were a dominant team in the West. Everybody thought, wow, Houston's going to. And a swing and a foul tip as Barrio strikes out. He's really been aggressive to the bottom of the order. He runs that ball up and away. This ball got a pierce. That's where you ground ball to short. That'll conserve some pitches. Yeah, I can get this guy out, that guy out, that guy. Okay, bottom of the order, I'm going to be aggressive. Then you have going to be a little more conservative. So when you caught guys, you know, top end starting pitcher. You got to really go after these guys. I mean, look at their average. You know, they're hitting down there because they're not. They're Bobby Witt pops it up back of the plate, but. The Fifth hitter came to the plate. He looked at him and said, "Okay, I got this guy." And it was over. The one-two to win, and a high fastball, two and two. George Mamberger, who is center, Springer is there and makes the catch. Really substantial change to his pitch mix. He decreased his fastball usage. He can go fastball slider, cutter to lefties. He can go fastball change up curveball. Higgins is going to haunt them, it looks yeah. like, for a while with the kind of stuff that he's got. But again, there, you know, and it happens, right? I mean, you take a risk. You give up a, a young guy. And as you said, he had had two. 
to third off the bat of Ernie Clement for the first out here in the bottom of the third. It was a breaking ball that he had Ernie Clement out on his front foot. Meyer went two for four Friday night. Look out. 99. That's. Then, of course, he paints with a slider on the outside corner, one and one. And then two and perfect then, yeah. sliders. Yeah, he ended up that outer half. Another slider in the same spot, and why not? Now Reagan. Outside at 99. Yeah. At the belt, 0 and 1. As Kurt grounds one down to third, and the Royals will turn a double play. Each other for the last time this year. Yeah, which spending the first uh, six or so seasons of it. The year after they won the World Series. Yeah, and you think he was with Kansas City, so he's got post. I mean, he was packed and ready to go to the big leagues, and then they changed their mind and took. And outside ball four, so the second walk, given up in the. Now you can see what he's done in eight starts with the Royals, a 11.9. Now Santiago Espinal getting the start at third base today, hitting 239. And Lofton looks like he has a play, and he does. It's funny, it shows you how things can change. Like two months ago, playoffs, it was all about, you know, the last 15 are against the Red Sox, the Yankees. Been down season for sure. Like you mentioned, they were a dominant team in the West. Everybody thought, wow, Houston's going to. And a swing and a foul tip as Barrios strikes out. He's really been aggressive to the bottom of the order. He runs that ball up and away. This book got a piece. That's where you ground ball to short. That'll conserve some pitches. Yeah, I can get this guy out, that guy out, that guy. Okay, bottom of the order, I'm going to be aggressive. Then you have going to be a little more conservative. So when you caught guys, you know, top end starting pitcher. You got to really go after these guys. I mean, look at their average. You know, they're hitting down there because they're not. They're Bobby Witt pops it up back of the plate, but. The Fifth hitter came to the plate. He looked at him and said, "Okay, I got this guy." And it was over. The one-two to win, and a high fastball, two and two. George Mamberger, who is center, Springer is there and makes the catch. Really substantial change to his pitch mix. He decreased his fastball usage. He can go fastball slider, cutter to lefties. He can go fastball change up curveball. Higgins is going to haunt them, it looks yes. like, for a while with the kind of stuff that he's got. But again, there, you know, and it happens, right? I mean, you take a risk. You give up a, a young guy. And as you said, he had had two. The third off the bat of Ernie Clement for the first out here in the bottom of the third. It was a breaking ball that he had Ernie Clement out on his front foot. Meyer went two for four Friday night. Look out. 99. That's. Then, of course, he paints with a slider on the outside corner, one and one. And then two and perfect then, yeah. sliders. Yeah, he ended up that outer half. Another slider in the same spot, and why not? Now, Reagan. Outside. outside at 99. Yeah. 